Okay guys, we are live. We're gonna go in here and check this place. Alright, I'm Rich. Spoke to somebody on the phone yesterday about coming in today. Um, did you, what's the last name? Paso. No, I'm not picking up. Oh. I'm actually looking to see your oh, product and all you want that. To see a few things? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll this direction. Was it you I talked to? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's not a ton, but you can get an idea of what I want to show have. everybody kind of what you got going on. Uh, um, this picture won't be very. What? No, it's all right. That they're not expecting anything fancy. And I, I got. I got some questions for you, like on recent events that are going on right now, what your opinions and views are, like the Nebraska flooding, how, how is that going to affect you guys, like a number of That's things right now. That's yeah. right. I, I, I messaged him. Oh, good. He's, I, he can I'm, talk to you about it. I don't, he's the guy on the farm himself who deals with all that stuff. I've been watching some of his videos that he put on YouTube yeah, or whatever. He doesn't, good. he doesn't have a lot of followers, but I want to try to help that increase though by what I do, because I have thousands of people that follow me. So um, it's. Yeah, he'd be a good person to talk to. And, I, and he'll he'll be here next cycle, the 14th, April. Yeah. Um, did you register yet online? I didn't do anything. So if you get on the website, put your name in an email, then you'll get all of our info when we're going to be here. Okay. And he'll be here, and you can actually talk to him in person too. Okay. So um, if he doesn't get back in the next while, I did a I did a small video this morning talking about what I knew and my expertise behind it. I'm a master gardener, so I know what oh, it yeah. takes when these floods come in and destroy these farmlands and stuff that these cattle and stuff graze on. Yeah. And it's not just the cattle that's lost in this. It's millions of dollars in excavation yeah, the, the sand and has not to just that too the cattle that did survive all of them are low weight because they couldn't keep the there's not enough food to feed them yeah. and then it might not hit us now but a month from now prices should should skyrocket yeah, probably. maybe six weeks or something like that but it's going to go up crazy because now they have to import grain and stuff and all this other stuff from other states where they can't feed them yeah there's a number of things that have to happen so it's yeah he'll, he's at the forefront of all that i'm not as wise about all of that so okay i just want to show yeah just go ahead i'll, I'll get let me know thank you, you. Need anything. all right How are you? so this is the if you notice the coloring of the fat on these is a little yellower than most and with that being said you can tell this is grass-fed meat just by the color, it's not it's your typical color. So this is what a pre-mixture of humanely raised, sustainably farmed, only real. So these are like, this is dog food? This is dog fare. What are these here? This is Wallace Farms salmon patties. wild Alaskan salmon so they're starting to share their facility with somebody else right now um, so prices are not that bad at all 650 a pound for grass-fed beef six giant pack of these beef hot dogs And we got beef ribeye steak here. I mean, they're bigger than the, the steaks that I see at the store um, that they sell for, you know, 17 to $25 a pound. So they're definitely bigger here. New York strips. Let's see. Ground turkey. Chicken and duck sausage. Ground chicken and duck together. Yeah. I wish things weren't... Uh... Spinach and feta sausage. Oh, these turkey patties are huge. Untreated salt, organic spices, organic pepper, organic margarine, organic coriander, evaporated cane juice. Yes, this stuff looks super, super, super good. Oh my gosh, it looks good. These big old giant chicken patties, bigger than the palm of my hand.
organic chicken links. So you get this double pack of these chicken links for $8.50. I like those. I might get those on the way out. Chicken bone broth. Oh my god, that looks good. That looks really good. Uncured pepper bacon. But see, they all got, you know, little sugar in them, little cane sugar. But by the time you cook it, it'll cook most of that off of there, so not a big deal. Uncured, uncured pork skinless hot dogs. So pork hot dogs here. There's a big old hams. Six dollars for the ground pork breakfast sausage, big one pound pack. It's not bad for grass fed stuff. I mean, this is this is good stuff. See all the salmon boxes back there? This is the new company that's moving in from Alaska. There's a big pack of pork patties. Ingredients, pork. Yes, they both they have both I think uh, wild caught and this company is from Alaska. So yes, the wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. And it's twelve dollars a bag, not bad at all. They have their own uh, raw pet food as well. Kale, carrots, cucumbers, strawberries, and other real ingredients from farmed vitamins and minerals. And then here's another one that is spinach, celery, cranberries. So, definitely uh, they're, they're low on their stock right now. They said normally they have this stocked up, but they can only come in and stock things every so often. I'm gonna get these these chicken links. I don't do these gotta be cooked. I'm not sure if they gotta be cooked or not. Um It's got a lot of potassium per serving. That's great. You guys do? Do you guys have eggs at all? We do. Mm -hmm. We should probably check the counts. Generally. She said they do. So one of the guys asked, "Do you guys have eggs?" We have eggs. They're uh, soy free pastured. Soy freed pastured, she said. So here's bone broth protein capsule tablets. I've never seen these before. Extract. Where, um, so people just ask for them and you get them? We pre order. Okay. Sometimes I have them a la carte, but it's been such a terrible winter. They've yeah. slowed way down. Uh, but so pre orders, they 
go now. Tell Nick, see if you can, I know he's probably busy, kick him in the butt. And well, he was here today. He drove to oh. I, back to Iowa with the truck today, so then he, he's here all weekend, so he's in the weeds until. Do you know anything about that, uh, not, not to talk, um, bad about anybody else but that all grass fed farms as well are they pretty good all grass fed out of dundee know. illinois not much left for a la carte today okay. and um and we won't have a la carte after this cycle you do have all today we do have some there's just not, not much what, let's see what, what we got here so that's going to stop right now? Yeah. This cycle. This cycle. Because you can see we've got some names. Oh, yeah, you got your cycle. So, yeah. Sipka Salmon's going to share the space with us. Okay. And they do tons of farmer's markets. They deliver to your door for now. Have to share that space enough. They do. They'll have the a la carte stuff, right, on their salmon stuff right there? I have no idea. Okay. It won't do. If they choose to do it, it's probably not going to be right away because they're still transitioning. In. Right. And so, it, at this point, it's all crazy. Yeah. Okay, so these are three dollars a pack for grass-fed beef sticks, gluten-free, no nitrates, zero grams of carbs, no sugar. Just got seasonings, Redmond's real salt, sea salt. I'm gonna try one of these. So this is grass-fed beef. What is this here? That's range turkey. Um, I really love the. I really love beef, so I'm gonna get one of the beef ones as well. Those chicken sticks or whatever they are right there, those you gotta cook? The breakfast? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. Okay. I, would, I didn't know if they smoked them before well, before you sold no, them up. Or... Not, uh, well, the bacon is smoked, I would assume, or it's, it's yeah. preserved how yeah. they do bacon. Right. Um, but no, all of our sausages are all. Okay. And you're going to want to thaw it in the fridge, and you're going to want to not thaw it completely. Because chicken, raw chicken is very sticky. Right. And so it becomes one with the paper. And, and naughty words come out and it becomes one with the paper. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So it separates from the paper a whole lot easier if it's mostly thawed. Okay. But then once you pop it in the pan to cook it, make sure you get a decent amount of oil. I'm going to use one of those uh, copper coated smokeless indoor grills that don't stick to anything. Okay. Thank you. I would oil it. We'll see. Try it. I'll, I'll do a trial oh, error. It's been pretty good so far. Okay. I, I'm a genius with this thing. I've learned to live off of this thing. I, I, what, yeah. Stuff that works for other people doesn't work for me. <laughs> so if it works for you, you have fun with it. Cause, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. I just want to show everybody that somebody asked about it. Look glorious. Pasture, free range. Look amazing. I guess he just brought these in today. I've got no way of cooking them in the hotel, so I can't really use them. Oh, I didn't put those back in the right spot, did I? 071, 060. I don't know what I would do because I'm about to go into that 72 hour fast unless I take them to my parents. How much are they a dozen? Seven. Seven? Yep. Yeah, no, are those available today? I have some left. Yeah, yeah, I think we have at least 10, 10 dozen yeah. left. Yeah, so we could sell a few. Okay. So they're $7 a carton for them. So, I mean, you pay for what you get. They got to ship them all the way from Iowa. So there's a fee for all that. Um, Let me think here. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to put those pork sausages back and get some beef patties instead. I would really like some, you know, good quality beef patties. I got these now. Oh yeah, right there.
That thing kicked me off of there. There's salmon patties right there. I want once I don't want salmon patties. I want beef patties. There's no beef patties though. Maybe there is beef patties over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to have the phone all up in my grill. Where are the beef patties? I can do pork patties. I like the pork patties. But I don't see no beef patties. Yeah, I'll do the pork patties instead, I guess. I like pork. Did I get everything over here? That would be my story, my life. I wonder if I should get the free range turkey as well. Try the turkey and the beef. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll skip on the eggs for now because I can't do nothing with the eggs. I'm gonna eat these pork patties for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna get this for right now because I, I can't do nothing with eggs. I'm in a hotel right now, so I don't even know why I'm asking about yeah. eggs. <laughs> okay, so the ground pork, I gotta look the price up because I'm not used to ground pork oh, wow. patty, $6.50. Oh, there's a menu brain. Oh, no. Yeah, that's well, there we go. Okay, yeah. so okay, I'll let her check it. Twelve seventy-five. Isn't that funny? That's do you know each other? No, <laughs> that's really funny. I mean, that's not a common. Do you want a plastic bag? <laughs> no, that's um, please. Thank you. It's thirteen. So everything's gonna be pre-order after today. Okay. Yep. When do you guys close? Six, right? Um, the pre the order window will open on Friday. Yeah. And then we'll be back Sunday the fourteenth. Okay. Right. And you can pre-order then, and it will oh, sure. the order window will just be on Sunday, but I don't know the time. Are you guys from Iowa, and you just come out here? Oh no, we live out this way. Okay, I'm sure. We grew up. I grew up in Iowa, so I'm married to Nick. Nick's, Nick's brother. Yeah. You like it better than here? Iowa? Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a look. <laughs> well, <laughs> I moved away for the last year down to Louisiana thinking that it would be better than being here. And I just came home a couple weeks ago. And I like the people down there. And I like how slow it can be. But it's way too slow for me. I agree with the There's, South slow thing. That was hard. We lived in Ohio. There was, there was way too many drugs all over the place. Even in the nice areas, it was just all over. Drugs? What kind of the drugs? I'm meth. Ugh. Terrible, well, you all know, over. I was gonna problem with that too. Well, yeah, I mean, it's 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 up here. Don't get me wrong, but when you're when you're 18 years old and you don't have no teeth left in your mouth because you've been stuck on meth since 13, there's an issue there. There's problems. So, so and meth, yeah. but it's it's really really bad down there, and it's so bad that you can live out in the middle of the country, 30 miles, 40 miles outside of everybody, and you'll find some meth head stealing batteries off your tractor or trying to take oh, wheels yeah. off your it's... vehicle way out in the country just because they're trying to get their fix. Yep. And it could just be 10, 20 bucks they're going to get for a $500 item. They don't care. They just need that hit, that fix. So I, I came back, and then people down there, whenever they drop the cars off at the dealership, I'm a, a master mechanic. Okay. Um, I'm almost senior master certified. I can't work in a dealership that doesn't make money. And they, they were making no money. People would drop their cars off. They wouldn't come back for three or four weeks. They didn't have the money for the repairs and stuff. And it's, it was just so common down there. Now we have a roommate. And people are okay with that. They're okay with walking everywhere, not having a vehicle. They're great people, don't get me wrong, they're kind. Just a completely different lifestyle. It's hard to make a living down in an area where it's not New Orleans, it's not, you know, it's not Baton Rouge, it's not a busy place like that. Here, I make plenty of money, I make a good living here. 
down there is completely different. So I, let me see here. Let's try these right now. Let's see if I can prop this thing up. I don't know if I can. Try this. These are free range. It's a picture of her brother right there on the label. Turkey. So it's probably going to be morning and to 3 o'clock. We'll look at maybe 10, 30, 11. We'll look around there. This phone's going to drive me nuts. And we got to be out of here by 3 30. So we'll squeeze it between 10, 30 and 3 30. So you'll see it in the email. And what is this? Sitka sandwich. So they do a lot of farm trials. They deliver to your door. I think so. Tastes very clean. Very clean. You can taste the peppers and peppers in it. It's a it's like a little medley of It's like a little medley of Thanksgiving in one stick. Oh that's awesome. That really is awesome. So he's going to go to Purdue. The taste is just phenomenal. So what is your She's an ad business major in marketing. Wow. She's got some interviews this week. She did. She loves Purdue. So far, that is the best jerky stick that I've ever had. She interviewed for It says spicy. It's the only summer internship. It says spicy, but it doesn't really seem like it's spicy. <laughs> now I'm going to switch over to the other one. This one's spicy. The other one said spicy. It really so wasn't. I wanted them to kill Tennessee. Oh my God! I just was so those post interviews for those guys. I don't hear a bunch of that. Uh, so darn it. This one's good, about our, you know, our but it's not nowhere near as good as the other one. The turkey tastes way better. You really put on a show. All right, we'll put her up. Put her up. Oh yeah. I love the turkey. That's good. So what brought you guys back finally? Just driving by. The saw it open. It's been on my mind. It has it? I remember that it looks like some hot Seattle. Oh yeah, I remember that was a long time ago. That's really good. That's awesome. Okay, guys, that's the review of their store. One more time, one more walkthrough.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.